Hey fairy fam, welcome back to my vlog and if you're new here please consider subscribing and watching a couple of my other videos. I do a bunch of random stuff um, from talking about my animals to my weight loss to things with the kids and definitely some cooking recipes. So stay tuned with me. Hi guys! Welcome back my fairy fam. Today we are making candied pecans. Pecans. So you're going to want to set your oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and let that warm up. What you're going to need is a mixing bowl and one egg. You need one egg. And you're going to separate the yolk from the whites. And you're going to whisk that up until it's kind of frothy. all right you're gonna add in all the dry ingredients which is going to be one half cup of ethritol the original recipe called for one third cup but it also said in a notation at the bottom of it if you like sweeter add more we like sweeter I know it's a lot. You're going to do one half teaspoon of salt, which is kind of hard to measure. Um, I don't know if I can measure it, so I'm going to roughly guesstimate. And one quarter teaspoon of pepper. You're going to do two teaspoons of cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of allspice, which I have never opened. Go me. Fresh allspice. Fresh allspice. And one quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. So you mix all the dry ingredients in with the egg. What you're going to do is you're going to need three cups of pecans mixed in with that. Hopefully I have three cups. Yes, I do. You're going to want to try and coat all of the pecans in the mix as best you can. Oh, it smells good. I can smell the cinnamon, everything. Alright, so you're going to line your cookie sheet. You're either going to spray it or just put parchment paper down. Um, I'm just doing parchment paper. And you're just going to want to spread it 
across. I'm not gonna stick like brittle or anything. You're just candy yeah. with the pecan. It smells good. You can smell all the cinnamon and everything. It smells like a pie. So this is gonna smell good while it's in the oven. It's gonna have like the heat rising and stuff. And you're gonna bake these at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. measure this by ounces so that I can portion it out correctly. It's probably the best way I can do it. One pound and barely an ounce. So that's like 16 ounces. So I could probably do two ounces per serving. containers. Oh, my back. Zero that out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight servings. Haha, uh -huh, I was right. Look me in the face